recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. America is in crisis. There's a dangerous baby formula shortage. Inflation is out of control. Gas prices surpass $4 a gallon in every state for the first time ever and are predicted to hit $6 a gallon this summer. Let's come together. Let's come together and unleash American energy and continue to lead on reducing carbon emissions. We can do both. Instead, today the majority is pursuing government price controls on energy prices while continuing to shut down American energy. This combination will only make prices and inflation worse. This scheme comes directly from the playbook of socialist dictators. Look at places like Soviet Russia, Venezuela, North Korea. These are the, the countries that have imposed government price controls. Well, actually, the United States of America tried this in the 70s. We, we tried this approach, and the result? Shortages, rationing, mile-long uh, lines for gas. It was an economic and humanitarian crisis. And now again, the majority wants to impose de facto government price controls. This bill gives President Biden sweeping powers to declare an energy emergency. We're living right now under a public health emergency. It's frightening to me. And it would arm the FTC with tools to impose de facto arbitrary caps on mom and pop gas stations for prices of fuel such as gasoline, diesel, and propane. It's not going to bring down the price of gas. And it will only cause further shortages like we experienced in the 1970s. And yet even now, President Biden is doubling down as he continues to shut down American energy. He placed a moratorium on new drilling, canceled the Keystone XL pipeline, supported canceling oil leases in Alaska and the Gulf of Mexico. And this week, it's reported that he is moving to ease the energy sanctions on Venezuela. The United States of America is the leading producer of oil and gas. It's cleaner and abundant. American workers and companies are eager to start producing more at home. Why are we increasing energy imports? from places like Venezuela to offset the, the disastrous results of shutting down American energy. Republicans have put forward solutions. We've introduced the American Energy Independence from Russia Act. I'm, cl I'm co-leading this legislation with the ranking member of resources, Bruce Westerman. It would lower cost, protect our national security by flipping the switch and unleashing American energy. Just this week, unfortunately, the Democrats blocked for the sixth time the vote on this legislation. Instead of doing what's necessary to meet energy demands, President Biden and congressional Democrats are distracting by this bill. The American people are not falling for it. President Biden's own energy sec secretary said, quote, I'm not sure anyone is saying there's wholesale gouging. The FTC has investigated price gouging in oil and gas markets on and off for over 100 years, and they have found higher prices are tied to supply and demand, not widespread price gouging. Unlike socialist regimes, America has done more to lift people out of poverty and raise the standard of living than any nation in the history of the world. We've achieved this by embracing a system that values free enterprise and free market principles for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for all. This is the promise of America. This is where we need to come together and protect this. I urge my colleagues to work together. Let's, let's unleash American energy, restore prosperity and optimism for hardworking Americans. I reserve. The gentlewoman reserves the gentlewoman